Good morning to everybody. Thanks for being here. Uh, today is an exciting day for the Red Sox organization. To be able to uh, keep Chris in the organization for years to come is exciting for us, one of the best pitchers in Major League Baseball. So we're absolutely thrilled. Uh, a couple special thanks. Uh, one is to our, the Red Sox ownership with John Henry, Tom Werner, Mike Gordon uh, to make this possible, their continued support to allow us to, to have a quality club. Um, we really appreciate it. Secondly, uh, to uh, Brian O'Halloran, who really did uh, these negotiations um, from step one. He uh, spent a good <coughs> couple months plus working on this. Uh, took the time to fly down here with myself and met with Chris in the beginning before spring training even started to talk face to face. And a special thanks to go to, uh, to Chris's agent, B.B. Abbott, to make sure that uh, this, this took place. Um, to our to Alex, the big league staff, to the players to make this a situation that Chris wants to stay, our fan base, and uh, of course to Chris and his family uh, for really making it so uh, apparent they wanted to be part of the Red Sox organization for years to come and what he's done on the field for us and we look forward to having him for years to come. So uh, we're thankful for all of that and uh, turn it over to Chris. <coughs> um, I don't know how I follow that, but I definitely want to you know, start by thanking, you know, John and, and Tom Warner, you know, the ownership group of the Red Sox. I know this is, uh, you know, a big step for them to take. Um, you know, like what Dave said, I, I made it very adamant at the very beginning of all this that I wanted to be here, and uh, you know, I'm very thankful that we were able to make it happen. Um, <clears throat> also, I want to thank my teammates. Um, you know, through all this, you know, they've they've been awesome and. Honestly, without them, I'm nothing. So um, through this whole process, it's been kind of a crazy, hectic time. But you know, just being able to be around them and have some levity and you know, keep it easy has, has been nice. So I also want to thank you know my, my family for the support they've given me throughout you know my entire life, and uh, you know my my agent for you know spending hours and hours and hours to get this done. <clears throat> and also, you know, my manager and coaching staff, you know, I came in yesterday, kind of threw a wrench in the plans, and they were very understanding, and, um, you know, I appreciate everything they've done for me up to this point, and I'm very looking looking forward to, to being here for, for years to come. Okay. Thanks, Dave and Chris. Uh, you can be in with questions. If anyone has questions, just raise your hand. You can go from there. Uh, Jason, right from the front. Yeah, Chris, when did you feel like this was a possibility? Um, I mean, basically from the beginning. I mean, I, I, I knew there was always a possibility of it. Um, I met with, with Dave and, and Brian, I think day one of spring training, and I mean, it was it was a very cordial conversation. I mean, very open conversation. We're sitting around the round table talking about you know logistics and you know this thing, that thing, all you know all the things that go into this, and. I flat out told them I want to be here, and they flat out told me we want you to be here. So, you know, there's obviously some things that have to go on when something like this happens, and um, you know, but it was it was a very, very transparent the entire time. There was nothing ever. There's really no kinks in the hose the entire way. What is it about the Red Sox organization that makes it so important to you, so special to you? Uh, we win. I think we have a track record of winning, and even when we don't, we we are still lined up to win. I mean, you look at the last, you know, since since the turn of the century, we have the most World Series wins. We've gone to three consecutive. Um, we won the division three consecutive years. We've gone to the postseason three years. I've been to the postseason every year that I've been here. I know that's only two years so far, but. Um, and they just they care about us. They they care about winning as much as, as, as we do and I think they proved that, you know, I mean a lot of people can sit up here and talk about trying to win, but um, I mean, you got some of my teammates here, you see you see the players that we acquire, you see the guys that we get in trades and the things we do at the deadline, that's putting your money where your mouth is and I I appreciate that. Dave for both you and Chris, did you feel it was 
important to get this done before the start of the regular season? Yes, yeah, I, I did, and I think Chris felt the same way uh, because I think that, um, first of all, we worked on it for an extended period, but the one thing you try to do in these situations is not be a distraction for anything else taking place, and I find that players, there's always exceptions because sometimes something happens that you don't anticipate. But players want to be focused when the season starts. We want to be focused on winning, so we thought it was really important to get it done before the, the season began. Chris, why was that important to you? Because I've said it a million times, I'm, I'm a baseball player. That's, that's my deal. I don't, I don't really like talking about all this stuff. I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of the business side of baseball. Um, I mean, I, I missed a start yesterday and had to put him in an awkward situation, put Dana in an awkward situation, and some guy that didn't even know he was going to pitch had to pitch yesterday. Um, I wanted that to be done with, and I just I want to get back to playing baseball and pitching, and you know that's where I've been my entire career. I got drafted, got to the big leagues, signed a contract, and I've only ever just played baseball. I've never really been in a situation that I've had to worry about these kind of things for, for a while, and if I did, it was a very short period of time, so... I just want to get it done and just be able to go play baseball. Okay, Marley on the left. Chris, um, a lot of your teammates were speaking very highly of, of you and of the fact that you're going to be here for a long time. What does that mean to you, and do you hope eventually that maybe you will inspire very talented teammates like Mookie Betts to also stay here for a long time? I'll move. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, I mean, I appreciate it. And that's, that's, that's what we have here is, is we have a great group, very family-like orient. You know, it's... We're very open and we trust each other. We care about each other and I think if you ask anybody in that clubhouse, we want to play with each other. We know what each and every person brings to the table and I think that on the other side of it, when when you have ownership and management showing what they do for their players and that they will you know, go out and, and sign players and, and extend players and trade for, for players, um, that's just more, more enticing to want to play here, and that's that's what we want. We want to we want to build something that is sustainable for for years to come. You know, we're not trying to win last year. We're not just trying to win this year. We're trying to win next year, the year beyond. Especially in this day and age, when half of every half the league isn't trying to win anything, and we have a team that's trying to win every year. That says a lot. And I think as players, you you can't. You can't not respect it. Ian Brown on the left. Yeah, uh, Chris, a lot of players kind of like the allure of free agency and kind of getting there and you know, seeing what their absolute you know, maximum dollars and all that. You just talk about why you, you chose to, to go about it a little differently. Well, I mean, I think if you look, I think if you look at this as a whole from both sides, I, I, I think anyways it's, it's pretty fair for both sides. I, I think, anyways. I mean, obviously, that's why I signed it. Um, but f for me, the best possible deal wasn't the most money, right? And that and that is for some people, and I respect it. And and I actually would tell people to do that. Hey, go to free agency, maximize your opportunity, get everything you can. Is, you get. We have a very small window as athletes in any sport to maximize our opportunity because we're not going to, you know, we can't do this for 30 years, you know. Um, but for me, living at my house for two extra months, um, picking my son up from school, I've, I've made it to all of his practices for Little League. I, he has 14 games. I've been able to see six of them. I was supposed to be able to see the one today, but, I, you know, I got pushed back, so I got a pitch. But me and him are going to pitch on the same day, so that's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> you know, I have I have two sons and um, got another another baby coming. So I uh, I want to be around my family. I want to be down here. This is where I live. This is where you know I went to school. This is where I kind of established my life. So um, for me, that's that's the best possible deal. You know, in terms of money. You know, it, it is what it is. Jason, why was the opt out? Something Um, that's more my agents doing, you know, obviously I, I don't know a whole lot about that, but 
Uh, I believe it's also around when the new collective bargaining agreement is up as well, which from a business sense I think is good. But, um, I mean, hey, man, I just signed it. Don't talk about me leaving already. <laughs> Well, I mean, of course, it helps a great deal. Uh, it's a situation where uh, we know we have a lot of challenges, and I respect everything Chris said. I respect it from a player's uh, perspective. I've been, been doing it a long time. I've had players leave organizations I've been, and I pick up the phone and call them and congratulate them and thank them for whatever they've done because uh, you, you really appreciate that. Then there's the business part of it, which I also understand. I've been doing that for a long time. And so you try to combine the two to put together the best clubs you possibly can. And we have a lot of great players, a lot of guys coming up for free agency. And you just try to do the best job as you can possibly putting everything together. It's a challenge. And again, I realize we're not going to be able to sign everybody, but this is a great start. And I also look at it um, for the next three, four years, um, we have four starting pitchers that are four of the best pitchers in Major League Baseball signed. And that's a good way to, uh, to start building a club, and then you can go around that and, and complement them with players. So um, we'll tackle it step by step. It's, it's not always going to be an easy chore, but the goal is, and I've always contended, take the lowest salaried club and the best player. They can sign that player. The challenge is putting a winning club around them. I mean, that's the hard part. And so, to me, that's always a challenge. That's my job and Eddie Romero's job and Brian O'Halloran's job and Alex and the staff, and, of course, we include all of them. So that's always the challenge. And when you usually have, when you have players of this ability and other guys in here, they want to play where you, they can win. So you're trying to do all that together, and hopefully you can make it work. I think we would stop opening day. I mean, unless something came out of the blue, like I told somebody, you know, pick your star player, and we got a bunch of them. Somebody knocks on the door and says, hey, I'll take a one-year contract for $3 million. I'd say, okay, well, we'll probably sign that deal right now. But I think as far as negotiations are concerned, I think it's usually wise to stop at opening day because you don't want to be a distraction. They want to focus and putting up the best numbers they can. They want to win a championship. And so, uh, again, unless something completely unanticipated happened, I would think that that's what would happen this opening day. We would, any type of negotiations we have, we would uh, stop at that point. Okay, we'll take two more. Bill? Uh, Chris, Dave mentioned having a good chunk of rotation together for multiple years going forward. Uh, how much was that maybe a deciding factor you wanted to stay with those guys and continue to build with them? I mean, I think if you look at the overall winning style, I think it starts with starting pitching. and. Like he said, I mean, we got we got some horses in this rotation, and I think you know that's a plus. I mean, that's that is a big step in the right direction for winning. And like I said, I mean, I'm I like to win. Last year was awesome, and I want to keep doing that. And you know, he said we got you know four starting pitchers here for the foreseeable future, and you know we got a fifth one we'd like to keep around too. So. Sure, no question. But uh. No question. <laughs> But, you know, we, we all push each other. We all want to be better. And I think, you know, they're all here. You know, I think, I think that shows a lot. I mean, I know, you know Rick just left, but you know, they're, that shows what we have here. And we're all never going to be satisfied with anything. You know, we're all going to keep pushing and trying to gain ground and get better. And I think... You know, especially from established guys that you don't you don't see that very often, you know, and that's that's a that's a special thing to have. That's a very special trait to have, and I think, you know, going forward, I, I like where we're at. Last one here. Yeah, just one question. The fact that you've got four starters you're, and seeing everybody here—that's a big message to the team together. Are you sending a message to the American League, seeing that you've got the rotation, the message that you want to repeat and keep winning and winning year after year after year? 
Well, we want to win. You're in and you're out. Uh, I agree. I, I think it starts I mean, with great players. There's a lot of things. Ownership's fantastic here. Tremendous. Great, loyal fan base. Um, Alex and his staff, I mean, they've really brought a great deal. I, I don't think there's too many places that have that. But it's the players. I mean, they win. They win the games. And so uh, when you start with that, that core of players, um, it really helps. And so that's what our goal. Our goal is to not just have won last year. We've started a new chapter, and we're looking to win this year and win for years to come. And, and there's not a lot of organizations that are capable of doing it. It's a challenge, and, and hopefully we can do that.